Hi folks and welcome back to Movie Mad for part 2 of my complete Blu-ray collection. As I said in the first part, I said that uh, I was going to do shelf by shelf, not A to Z, because I've just got too many for that. So I'll just continue on that theme. So without further ado, we shall get started. So here we go. The Disappearance of Alice Creed. I've seen that, thought it was alright. Evil Dead. I actually can't remember much about this. I have seen it, but that's why I bought it to rewatch. Flatliners the original. I did really enjoy this one. The remake's terrible. We'll change this case out because it's still got a cash cover sticker on it. But Gran Torino, great movie, absolute great movie from Clint Eastwood. Ned's. I don't think I've seen this one. In fact, I have seen this one. But uh, again, I don't remember much about it. Blade Runner, the final cut. Good movie, I do enjoy this one. It's not as, it's not as great as everybody makes out though, I don't think. The Day of the Dead. I haven't seen this one either. Based on George Runner's Day of the Dead, or have I? can't remember. <laughs> I've got the original Spider-Man trilogy. Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. Well, not the original. Is it the original? With Tobey Maguire. I was discussing this with my wife the other night there, and I think Tobey Maguire, to be honest with you, I think he's the best Spider-Man. And certainly the uh, Kirsten Dunst is certainly the best MJ. So I'm really happy with these three, really happy to get these these three. I even like Spider-Man 3, I think it's a, a good one, a good one. So I've got this Spider-Man trilogy. We have the Spectre will be two. I've seen it, all right. I bought this and I haven't watched it yet, but I do want it. And that's Christian Bale and the Flowers of War. Captain Phillips. As you can see, I picked this one up from CX and you take the stickers off. But I have watched that one and it's about uh, Tom, Tom Hanks, Captain of Boat, being taken hostage. And I thought it was okay. The Firm. I haven't watched it. Cooties. I haven't watched it. Chronicle, the extended cut, 50p. Look at the state of that case. I'm going to have to change that one. But I think Chronicle was a decent sci-fi movie. Ex Machina. I thought that was alright. I don't think it was terrible. In fact, it was enjoyable. I do. I do remember it. It was good. I've got a spit on your, a spit on your grave too. Brutal. Horror. Yep. Last Tango in Paris with Mar Mar Marlon Brando. I haven't seen it, but I've seen this in the charity shop, so I picked it up. My Week with Marlon, another charity shop pick up with Eddie Redmayne. I haven't seen it either, but I think I've got a pound for it. Another Steven Seagal Poundland special, Born to Raise Hell. Again, I've not seen that one yet either. Kidnap Victim, which one are you? Unknown. This is like another British one, is it? Hmm, no, I don't think so. But I've never watched that either, as you can tell. Man from Uncle, I have watched that. Forgettable movie. The Henry Cavill, to be honest with you. Dr. Morbid, The Master of the Unknown. I haven't watched it yet, but I picked this up in CX88 films. Flash Gordon. Classic. With Sam, Sam J. Jones. I have watched this one, I think this is a pretty decent movie. Some of the special effects are a little bit, you know, a bit to be desired now, but for when it was shot, it was pretty good. Jaws. Classic 1974, isn't it? Yeah. Can you beat that one? I don't know. As I say, I'm not going to talk much about the movies while I'm showing you them, because there's too many to get through. Another Steven Seagal Poundland special, Lethal Justice. Huntsman, Winter War. I thought this was an okay movie with Charles Theron and Chris Edward. I thought Emily Blunt. Yeah, I thought it was decent. I think that's the second one, isn't it? Yeah. 
I spit on your grave, again brutal horror. Sit the goes along with the first one. Jack Reacher, never go back. I do watch this one over and over again. I do like it. I like the first one and I might might even prefer the second one to that. With the how 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 you about your mother. But I think that's a decent movie. Tom Cruise, yeah. Chappie. Watched it once, haven't watched it again. Why have I got it? Probably found that special. Red Hill. Not seen it. The Machine Gun Girl, was it? The Machine Girl. Picked that one up because I, I actually liked the cover. So I thought it was pretty good and I haven't watched it yet. Robert Downey Jr. and Sherlock Holmes. Decent movie. It's a decent it's a decent uh mystery movie that one I would say. I like Murder on No One Express too, but I'm not got that yet. Another one I've not watched yet, but I found it in CX and I thought I'll take it while it's there. And that's Jack Lemon, Shirley MacLaine and Fred Money in the apartment. American Horror Story Series 1. I have watched that and I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really good. Gene Hackman in The French Connection and The French Connection 2. I don't know if he's in the second one because I haven't watched it yet. Fantastic Voyage. I picked this one up because I think it's an inner space that inner space is based on this and I wanted to watch it but I haven't got around to it yet. The Host. I haven't watched that either. Very nice special. Inglorious Bastards. I thought I didn't have that but I do and that's in that set of 18 at 25 inch box so that could be another one for going out of the collection. Inception. Watched this ten times, never got to the end. Don't know why, I just didn't understand it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, classic. Plane, trains and automobiles, that's a good one. I really, really enjoy that one. We have to share the bed in the hotel and then somebody steals their money and I think they've robbed each other. That's funny. I think that's a really, really good movie with John Candy and Steve Martin. Seeking a Friend from the End of the World. I have watched this one with Steve Carroll and I thought it was quite good. Kick-Ass, great movie, I haven't watched this one, it's a sealed sealed one, but I, ha I did have actually two copies and I watched that one and I got rid of it, but uh, I like that one, Chloe, she's, she's good, yeah, yeah. The Green Zone, I have watched this and I thought it was a decent, decent war movie in Iraq. Hobo with a Shotgun, Rudger Hare, I haven't watched it, but I, got, I picked up the charity shop for £2 and I thought it was a decent deal. The Knowing. I, people don't like this movie for Nicolas Cage, but I actually really enjoy it. I've watched this five or six times, and I, I still enjoy. I still, I still enjoy it, and I w actually watched it a few couple of weeks ago. I just like those things. I, Nicolas Cage. Some movies he's in is really good, and I particularly like that one, National Treasure, The Rock, Conair. You know, he's in some decent movies. Here we go. I'll be back. Actually, I'm close to preferring this to the second one, but I'm, I'm, I'm. It's a difficult choice, but I really enjoy that one. Terminator Two, Skynet edition. Really enjoy that one as well. Terminator Dark Fate. That was a Terminator Two remake, not done as well. That's what I would call it. Weekend at Bernie's. Haven't watched it yet. But it was on a deal on, on Amazon. And I think it was like 3 99 You could get £8 trade in it. So I bought three and I traded two in. And uh, go kept the one for myself to watch later. A Few Good Men. Great movie this way. And again, another Tom Cruise there we go and Jack McLean. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> That's a terrible, terrible, imp terrible impression. <laughs> there you go. More Terminator. The Terminator Chronicles Series 1 and Series 2. I actually think this is a really, really good series and I enjoyed it. So, 
I am going to say, yeah, say I'm really, I was really sad when this got cancelled. I mean, sad. I was like, because the end of season two was a great cliffhanger, so that was good. Little Big Man picked it up off Zoom because it was on four pound, and I wanted to see it. I've not watched it yet. Geostorm. I wish I'd never seen this one. <laughs> I bought it, and I thought this is going to be great, and it was just truly awful. I actually hate this. Hated this movie. Actually hated it, but. I like to keep movies because I like to give them a second chance and I'll, I should give this one a second one chance as well. Heroes Season 1. Great, great series that. Here we go. What else we got? Oh! Firefox. The one I picked up the other day. Great movie. I had to get that one from Germany because there's no UK release. But that's a great movie. I like to watch that one over and over again. Fahrenheit 451. I think this is a bit like Town Inferno, but I haven't seen it yet. But I've seen it in CX one day and I picked it up. Point Break, the original. Great, great movie. Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. Red Dawn, another Patrick Swayze, where this time with the girl for Dirty Dancing and Charlie Sheen. I really like that one, that concept. And I, the remake's not too bad either. Conspiracy Theory with uh, Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts. I watched this one over and over and over again. I do like it. And it's, and it's also got Patrick Stewart as a bad guy in it. And I just think it, yeah, that's a movie. I also like the Pelican Brief. I want to get that. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Another great movie, 80s action movie that I enjoy. People give this a lot of hate, but I actually really enjoy it. And I picked this up... Uh, on a sale on Amazon. It's not the British release, but it plays. It's obviously Legion B, so it plays fine. Body Check. This is Rob Lowe, and this is Ice Hockey movie I used to watch over and over again when I was a kid because I got ice hockey, when I got ice hockey. And it's not called Body Check, it's called Young Blood, but this is a German version because there's no UK Blu ray release. And it's about a story about a uh, Young ice hockey player try to break into the NHL and tough, have to toughen up, shall we say. And I think it's a decent movie. More than decent, it's one of my favourites. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, not watched it yet. Quiet Place, great movie, really enjoy that one. Really looking forward to the second part. Destroyer with Nicole Kidman. I picked this up in the charity shop on the day it was released for a pound. And I was going to trade it in because you got like £8 for it and I didn't. And I should have because I've still not watched it. Goodfellas. This is a little, little digi book pack. I think I picked that up in the charity shop again for £3 or £4. Might have even been a bit more. But I thought it was a good release. Great gangster movie. Another foreign release of Every Which Way But Loose. But I'm pretty sure you've seen that in my last video. It's about Clyde and... Pilo Beto, who is a trucker and a bare knuckle fighter. The Commuter with Liam Neeson. Not watched that one yet, but it's there if I want it. So more Clint Eastwood classic for you with Escape from Alcatraz. Again, every time that's on TV I watch that, so I'm glad to collect that. Glad to have that in the collection. I've been looking for this one from Michael J. Fox for a while, and that's the hard way. And I got that in the HMV sale for three ninety nine, and it's about uh, Michael J. Fox basically being a movie star and researching a role for a cop. They actually, actually gets it gets on uh, Michael uh, James Woods's uh, nerves, and I think it's a sort of buddy cop, an alternate alternate thing on a buddy cop movie. Goon, another nice movie. Different for young blood, but funny, funny as uh, funny as shall we say. I also want the one, the Enforcer one, the, the Rise of the Enforcer, the second one. The second one's not as good, but that one's good. Clear and Present Danger, great Harrison Ford movie, and in the Jack Ryan franchise. I've got these Doctor Who's, and I haven't watched them yet, but I do want to watch them. And that is Doctor Who Spearhead from Space. Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor. Doctor Who, Last Christmas. I think I've got a few more. Somewhere. Oh, Marathon Man. 
picked that one up and when it was out of print and it was, I, I was going to trade in I didn't I have watched it I think it's okay it's I don't think it's all that's really cracked up to be with Dustin Hoffman if, in my opinion he's done a lot better films I like Accidental Hero Papillon Rain Man The Graduate but it's okay This must have been out, out of sequence in one of the piles here. Terminator Genesis 3D. I watched this and I watched it again and on the second view and it did feel a little bit better. Not much better, but a little bit better. I Am Legend, post-apocalyptic, my favourite genre. I like that one. Immortals. Not watched it, so can I tell you in a bit? Same with this one, Liability. And the same with this one, I Am Wrath. Imperium, I have watched this one, and I think it's good. Daniel Radcliffe taking a step away from his Harry Potter days and being an uh, undercover agent trying to infiltrate the, the racists. I think it was pretty good. Oh, Will Smith, I Robot. I actually quite enjoy I Robot. And uh, I've cut it on DVD and upgraded it. It's decent. The last house on the left. Some more horror. Some more horror. Not for the faint hearted. That one. Whistleblower. I got this because. I was going to say who is it? It's Rachel Wise, isn't it? Rachel Wise, isn't it? But I haven't actually watched it yet. I have seen bits of it, but I haven't watched it all. In time with the green case. Everybody gives this movie a hard time, but I actually really enjoy it. I think it's a good concept that in the future you need to buy time to keep you, and if you don't have enough, you. Expire. Insidious Chapter 2. Not seen it, so I can't tell you. Insidious Chapter 1. Not seen it. I'll get to these horror ones eventually. Ice Age Zone of the Dinosaurs. I think it was cheap in Poundland, but I haven't seen it. Really got for the kids. Just a quick pause there to start with the piles. There we go. Gladiator. Got that in that 18 movie base set. I am Maximus. Yes, are you not entertained? Well, aren't you? <laughs> That's a good movie. Really enjoy that. I have got an 18 pack though, so I might be able to get that. That says two disc special edition. Ah, uh, other packs not two disc special edition, is it? The Gunman. Not seen it. Culver's Travels with Jack Black in 3D. I've actually seen that. It's actually a really. I think it's a really funny film. Headhunters. Not seen it. The classic Christmas movie. I don't know if it's good at Christmas, but it is Gremlins. I like Gremlins too as well. I'm sure I've got it somewhere. And Gremlins, great, great horror comedy movie. Is it comedy? A wee bit. The Grandmaster. Not seen it. The Arrival. Have watched it. Watched it twice, didn't like it both times. It did grow on me a bit on the second time, but still don't like it. I don't think. Amazing Spider Man. Andrew Garfield is just not a good Spider Man. Sorry, he's good in the actual ridge, but he's not good in that. Oh, I've got to hide that one. Fifty Shades of Grey. That's <laughs> the wife's. I haven't seen it. Dead Man Down. I haven't seen that one either. Oh, getting another Terminator. Terminator Salvation. I actually think this is a decent movie. I, I actually enjoyed it. There was a, I didn't think like all the new robots. I think they could have stuck to some classic ones. But I think it was a good attempt. I think it, they were trying to do something different in it. Jet Li, Flying Sword of Dragons. Not seen it. Got this because Patrick Dempsey's in it. Not seen it. And that's five paper. In between those two, have seen it, wasn't as good as the first one. Josh Hartnett and I come with that. Haven't seen it. There's a theme here. I really need to. I really need to start watching some of these. But it's just a question to get in time. And I quite like having the thought. Well, if I've got it there, I can choose what I want to watch. And I don't often do. Inhale. How far would you go to save a life? Diane Kruger. National Treasure. You watch that one. Haven't seen it. Chris Evans and Injustice. Haven't seen it. Last of the Mohicans. And that is director's definitive cut with Daniel Day Lewis. 
that's a really good movie. I really need to watch it again because I can't remember enough about it to give you a good description. Jaws. Now, I've already showed you Jaws, and the reason I've got that is because when I bought this, it's actually got Jaws 3 in it. It's just in the Jaws case. I don't know how that worked out, but there you go. Picked up the first season of 24 on Blu-ray. Why not for one ninety nine? I've got the rest on DVD, but uh, the first season on Blu-ray. Hero Season 2, so continuing with me. I think I've only got 1 and 2. I really need to see these 3 and 3 heroes. That's a great show. I think it loses its way in the last couple of series, though, but there you go. House of Bones. Haven't watched it, but I'm sure I'll get to it. Home of the Brave. I have watched that one. I thought it was a decent, decent coming back from war movie. Let's try to remember it. Uh, yeah, so if I remember it being good. The Hole, I haven't seen it. He who, who Dares, The Raid Meets Die Hard, haven't seen it. Hot Fuzz, decent, not as good as Sean is dead. Hardcore Henry, haven't seen it. Friend Request, haven't seen it. Flight of the Phoenix, I've seen it, really enjoy this movie. I want to watch the original and I haven't got that yet, but I think that was a good movie by Dennis Quaid with the rebuild of the plane in the desert. I'll enjoy it. Adulthood. I've seen Kidulthood, I haven't seen Adulthood yet, so that's why I got that one. And Swordfish, great movie with Harry Berry and Hugh Jackman, great movie. And John Travolta, of course. Oh, oh, it sticks together, so guaranteed I got it from cash converters because their, their stickers are terrible. Mm -hmm. The Judge, I haven't watched it yet. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, good attempt by Chris Pine, I thought it was an enjoyable movie. Kill List, not seen it. Kill Bill, have seen it, really good, do enjoy that one. It's... Violent, but there's a purpose to the violence. Hellboy, the original one with Ron Perman. I think this is much better than the David Harbour one. Get Away with Heath and Hawk. Haven't seen it. Deadfall. Haven't picked it up, but it's got Charlie Hunnam and Olivia Wilde in it. Get another thing I'll pick up. The Descendants. I remember watching this and I thought it was a decent movie, so that's why I picked it up. Hotel Transylvania 2. I have watched that. I have watched one as well. I think that's a very good cute kids movie. My wee boy enjoys watching that with her. Husk. I haven't seen it. Hard Boiled. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Hugo. I haven't seen it. Gunfighter the OK Corral. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't watched it yet, but I've all, always liked Kirk Douglas, so I thought that's a good movie to put that's a good movie to pick up. Godzilla, decent movie. I'm really need you watch that when you watch King of the Monsters and then there's gonna be the King Kong versus Godzilla, isn't there? Kong that Godzilla, Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yeah. Non stop, good slipcover. Haven't watched it yet. Austin Powers and Gold Member, that's the third one, isn't it? Haven't seen it. I've seen the first two, but not that one. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Didn't like it particularly. I think the first one's better. But it's 3D, and I want to watch some movies in 3D, so I think. House of Bones, haven't seen it. Hummingbird, haven't seen it. <laughs> There's a familiar theme here, I really need to watch more of my movies, don't I? Fall of Reach, haven't seen it, but it's hell and I do like hell. Horrible, horrible Bosses, have seen it. And it's a good, good movie. I think it's a, I think it's a good, good, you don't want to say comedy. It's sort of a comedy, but there you go. Hellride, haven't seen it. 
Hurt Rocker, Hurt, we'll say it, Hurt Rocker, have seen it. Th We've won a lot of awards and things like that, and I think it's a good movie. I just don't think it deserved all the hype it got. Winner of six Oscars, including Best Picture. Is that all that? Really need you to watch it, don't I? King Arthur with Charlie Hunnam and uh, David Beckham was in it. I thought it was alright. I didn't think it was. A lot of people said it was terrible. I didn't think it was terrible. A lot of the movies that I buy, I, buy, I do try and get. Well, I try and take them when it's opportune to get them. So that's why I haven't watched them all. Well, I haven't watched them all. Or less than half, to be honest with you. But I try and buy them when they're in CX and things like that. So they are cheaper. So when I do fancy watching them, I do that. So that, that this one comes into that little one. I think that was eight pound. I still haven't watched them. That's a quarter mass in the pit. But I just thought it was a decent story, something that I'd like to watch. So I picked that up. The Mercenary. Again, something I felt that was I could watch and would be good, but I haven't actually got around to watching it yet. Gone with the Wind, classic. I don't. I ha is it? I haven't seen Gone with the Wind. I don't think all the way through. I thought it was great. And is this the one at the end that he says, "Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I don't. I don't know. But we'll leave, we'll find out one day." Ghost Town with Ricky Gervais. I really, really like this one. And he, he can see dead people and he, he tries to he tries to ignore them, shout at them until he decides to help them. I think maybe this is where they I don't know, maybe this has got how he got came up with the idea for afterlife. I'm not quite sure about that, but we'll see. Good Kill. I have watched this all about drones with Ethan Hawke and I think this was a pretty decent movie and that's why I picked it up. I actually seen it when I was at my uncle's caravan and he had it in there and I watched it I thought this is a good movie I'm going to pick that one up. So I did. The Interceptor. No idea. I like the cover and it was £2 in the Wolverine Extended Edition with 3D I have all the X-Men movies, so I thought, you know, pick up that one in 3D. It's not the best X-Men movie, this one. But, we're having. Life, this is underrated. I like this one with Jake Gyllenhaal. And uh, it's uh, an alien sort of space adventure, and I actually really enjoy this one. And I, I did have it on DVD, so I, I was really happy that I found that impact one for £2. I think that's one of the ones I will upgrade to 4K because I imagine that'd make it look amazing. 51. Another pound on pickup? No idea. The Last King of Scotland. This was a pound on pickup as well, but this is a great movie with James McAvoy and Forrest Wicker. Really, really, really good movie. And oh, it's got Julian Anderson as well. See, I watch so many movies, I really need to try and remember them, but. I remember that I really enjoyed this one. And the last one in the in on the shelf is the Fall of the Craze. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed part two of my complete Blu-ray collection. Oh, of my complete Blu-ray Blu-ray collection. And I will try and film part three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how many parts are going to be, but I'll keep going until they're finished. Okay, <laughs> thanks very much. I would like you to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want to see more. Also, I would appreciate a little subscribe there. I appreciate that. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.